What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel, so in this video, I'll show you guys how to get the perfect start on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. I know the game is not out yet, but when it comes out, this method is going to be amazing, and it's going to give you guys so many coins at the beginning, and it's going to give you, just in general, a great start on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. And also, feel free to go and add me on PSN, there's my PSN right there, Sandra underscore SF, and like the past few days, I've actually done quite a few games against you guys on FIFA and stuff, so I actually have 111 friends um, uh, right now, and, and probably a few friend requests as well, so once again, feel free to add me, maybe we can play game of FIFA or something tonight or tomorrow whenever you guys want to and I'll play against you guys and maybe talk to you guys during like a PSM part or something so yeah once again feel free to add me I'll go and add you back the recent support of my channel has been absolutely insane as well guys like the likes have been going crazy the comments as well you guys seem to be loving the videos so once again if you guys want to be entered up for 150,000 coins giveaway just make sure to leave a like on the video and make sure to be subscribed to my channel and I'm gonna keep on doing this guys because the support is just insane like yesterday my video hit over 4,000 likes in like 10 hours and the day before that my video hit over 8,000 likes in like a day which is incredible once again guys thank you so much I really do appreciate it guys I'm not gonna be doing face cam in this video because uh, right now it's uh, kind of late I have not recorded the video yet and uh, at the same time it's, it's a trading method guys let me know actually right now in the comment section down below during FIFA 16 and you know during FIFA 17 as well do you guys want to see face cam in literally every single video or do you guys not want to see face cam in the trading videos let me know right now in the comment section and I'll make sure to go and read through all the comments and make sure to know what you guys actually want to see so this is how to make coins at the beginning of FIFA 17 and uh, make sure you guys you know save this video save this method maybe try to write it down or something because obviously it's still a few months until the full game is out so go ahead and write this down or something and uh, obviously as well it's not gonna be too many people remembering uh, this whole method when the game is out so uh, yeah I I'd say you guys are gonna be getting yourself a pretty awesome head start when it comes to coins if you go ahead and save this video or do this method when the game is out now obviously a week before the full game is out they release a FIFA 17 web app and that's actually going to be on the EA.com website. You can do some trading, you can buy a few players, you can open your starter packs and uh, all that good stuff indeed. But anyway, what a lot of people are actually saying is that you should not open your starter packs. But actually what you guys should do when the FIFA 17 web app is out, you should go ahead and open all the free packs you guys are going to be getting and do some investing. Because when the FIFA 17 web app is out, you're not going to be able to play the full game. You're not going to be able to try the players in game and stuff, which means the player prices are going to be really low. Now this happened a couple of years ago as well, guys. I remember someone making a video about this. Ronaldo was going for about 600k on the FIFA, 7, uh, FIFA 14 or 15 web app guys and when the full game came out he literally went up to 1.2 mini coins right away and this also happened like back in FIFA 15 as well I know that Benzema is quite a great example and uh, this guy was going for about 5,000 coins on the FIFA 15 web app and when the game came out he literally went up to 20,000 coins right away like every single price of every single player is gonna be super low when the web app is out because as I said guys you can only buy the card you cannot really do some trading you cannot do anything with the card you can just buy them and that's pretty much about it like the first week before the full game is out on the console you should just go ahead and try to invest in as many players as possible and this is a few players I would recommend I would recommend any single player in the BPL guys that goes for maybe about 1,000 coins for example Lalana is a great example I remember doing this with Lalana on FIFA 6 and Ultimate Team when the web was out and Lalana was a great example I think he was going for about 700 coins or something and when the full game was out he went up to about 3,000 coins same with Sterling as well he was also like I think about 5,000 coins or something on the web and when the full game was out he went up to like 15,000 coins right away so yeah I'd recommend to do this guys with BPL players because BPL players are so popular everybody makes the BPL team at the beginning almost everybody at least and uh, they just want to get those BPL players when the full game is out so BPL players guys for example this year I'd recommend to probably pick up like Payet maybe one of those awesome new players uh, on the FIFA 17 web app before the game is out and then as I said guys a couple days after the game was released on the console you should sell them on because the player prices has been going up so much because you're actually able to play games with them. Now this method is not going to be working with cards that literally goes for like 400 coins right away because you know there's still going to be quite a few cards like non-rare cards and stuff that nobody really cares about that's still going to be going for like the lowest buy now price on the FIFA 17 web app but you know yeah, people don't really care about those cards anyway so they're not going to be buying them when the full game is out and trying them out so uh, yeah the really bad ones that goes for like 400 coins just do not think about them. I'd recommend to pick up any single player between like 1,000 coins and 5,000 coins uh, from the BPL at least on the FIFA 17 web app and uh, once again you can also do this with like you know Bundesliga and Liga BBB and stuff but as I said and uh, yeah the BPL guys it's such a popular league and it works the best with those so that's it for me right now let me know in the comment section down below which cards you guys gonna be investing in I'm probably thinking of going like Firmino or like just Liverpool players because I know their prices and stuff and I know kind of what they're gonna be going for so uh, yeah drop a few players names guys in the comment section down below help each other out thumbs up either uh, each other comments and stuff so people know like you know more players that's gonna be good to invest in Maybe 
maybe like you know a few new uh, transfers and stuff that's going to be happening but uh, as I said guys players between 1k and 5k are going to be the key ones and set them on like a few days after the game is out on the console when people can play with them and stuff they're going to be going up so much and this is the best way on how to get coins at the beginning of FIFA 17. Anyway though that is it for now thank you so much for watching once again drop a like for part number two and I'll catch you guys tomorrow take care.